All right, I realize I accumulated a lot of pirate loot. So I'm just gonna go sell some of these, but not all of it. I'm, uh, I wanna keep at least one of each item in case there's something that'll help me increase my sell value of them. Yeah, they say I have to I have to somehow find something that's worth 50k in order to get the final selling title for Maggie Lou. But I don't have anything like that yet, so I'm just going to keep at least one of each in case there's some kind of weird item that increases the sell value of things I have. I think that would be the safest way to play it, but I don't know if I'll ever find such an item. It might not show up until the post-game dungeon or something. Okay, let's just sell these for now. I think this should at least get me a shop level. Pumper upper. Yeah, get... So, for, let's see her high-end seller. Yeah, I need to get 50k for the final one. That will not be easy. Just gonna have to hope I find something like that someday. Okay, got the shop level 9. Misfortune Ward. I'm still trying to- I'm still working on Bullock Talisman. Also, I managed to get Amphibol tier stuff to appear. Well, one thing at a time. I'll get them all mastered eventually. Oh, they're giving me rewa other rewards are than Tails coins for Slash Beat? Blame Norman's suit. Oh, there are probably costume items hidden behind these, but I don't really care about that as much as normal items. Huh. Yeah, that's for Slash Beat, that damage uh, mini game. So does that mean everyone has their own Norman suit? Oh well. These mini games are uh, look kind of tricky, so I don't, I don't really want. Uh, I don't really care about anything other than getting the tails coins to buy more of these uh, uh, resources. Okay, shop level ten, Helmut Schmidt Sash. Allows users to break soul without spending souls. That seems like a mastery skill that's attached to it, but I'm still trying to master Amphibol Belt first. Hmm. Chance not to lose souls during break soul. 8%. Alright, let's head on over. Why in blazes would it be Eilgand? Okay. The assault docks. Huh? Something happened in the middle of the ocean? Are we being attacked? I gotta say, you guys look less like pirates and more like a circus troupe. Are you alright with having demons on board, Benwick? Not remotely an issue. If you're aboard this ship of misfits, you're a pirate. That's just our creed. At least, that's what the captain and the first mate always say. Speaking of the captain, what's Eifried like? Hmm, let's see. How do I put it? He's like if the sea were a person, and that person had a pointy beard. Huh. Uh, a bearded sea? Look, everybody on this ship is an outcast from society in some way. Despite that, Captain Eifried accepted us for who we are, and took us all on board. So he's a kind man. Well... Would you say that the sea is kind? How would it feel to dive in with an open wound? It would sting. A lot. Quite so. Some days he's calm and steady. And others he rages. He can be shallow, deep, even a whirlpool. Sounds like he's a little scary and hard to read. 
Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to serve him. But that air of mystery keeps us around and makes us want to take those jumps. At the end of the day, the dread pirate Van Eyfried is one hell of a guy. He sounds like Velvet in a lot of ways. Wait, what? How so? Uh, I didn't describe him right at all, did I? Hmm. Benwick, we're changing course at once for Port Renied. Sir? What's going on? Three of our men have collapsed from the Corsair Scourge. They first showed symptoms three days ago. How are you holding up? I'm still doing all right. But if this really started three days ago, that means we're all carrying it, doesn't it? That's what I'm afraid of. But if we head straight to Port Renied, we should be able to get medicine there. I'll check on everyone's condition. Make sure everyone stays hydrated, including yourself, understand? Sir, yes sir. All hands, assume emergency positions. The crew's holding up well for a bunch of folks at death's door. What do you mean? Is this Corsair scourge fatal? Quite. No one knows what causes it, but it starts with a high fever and ends up with the body falling apart like sand. Like sand? Once, there was a great band of pirates who ruled the seas, but the disease spread through their ships and killed every one of them. That's why it's called the Corsair Scourge. Does that mean we've been infected as well? You humans, for sure. Only humans fall prey to the Corsair Scourge. Then it could have gotten to you too. Right, Moggy Lou? Oh, right. <gasps> Alas, that my glorious saga should meet such an ignominious end! I can't allow our vessel to die from this. If you start to feel ill, speak up. I will. All right, we'll all be helping out in the search. Everyone but Eleanor, that is. Huh? Oh, why does she get to stay? I might be dying too, you know. You're a witch. Magic yourself healthy. Now quit whining and get going. Oh, not even a witch is safe from the ravages of the Reaper's Curse! The Reaper's Curse? Oh no. If she leaves a party, that means I can't grind her mastery skills. Okay, where's the herbalist? If I remember right, the Corsair's Scourge needs a particularly special medicine. Yeah, it's a wildflower called Salatoma. Its juice can cure the Corsair's Scourge. Well, doesn't sound too tricky. Let's not relax until we have it in hand. Right. Now let's get going. Hold on a minute. Won't you just be spreading the disease if everyone wanders into town? Surprisingly, no. For whatever reason, you can only catch it over the ocean waves. It's speculated it might have something to do with the salt in the air, or maybe the microbes in the seawater. Nobody knows the cause for sure, but there are no recorded cases of people catching it on land. I see. A strange affliction indeed. We'll be back soon. You all remain on the ship. All right. Good luck out there, sir. We've got to hurry. These two are benched, huh? Salatoma. Is this really going to be necessary? What do you mean, Eleanor? Oh, nothing. It's just... Well, the herb is known to work well for fevers and the like, but... It tastes bad. So bad. Some say it would even bring a demon to the brink of tears. Maybe so. But better to drink it than to die, right? Oh, I'm not worried. It... It just reminded me of stories from my childhood is all. Wait, they're still in the party? Okay, good. I almost thought they got benched. The map's getting filled in little by little. There's still a long way to go. It's a big world out there. Yeah, that's true. And a lot can happen on the waves. The far seas are unexplored territory for a reason. I'd imagine so. The seasons and the weather can change the sea completely. Oh. Do I sense a budding interest in the sea? Think you're feeling less apathetic about it now? I wouldn't say that. I was just reminded of something someone once said to me. That Rokuro, always telling all of us except Eleanor to work harder. 
Doesn't he realize that I'm a delicate maiden too? This is workplace discrimination. I should put him on a witch trial and burn him at the stake. I don't think that's how witch trials work. <laughs> What's wrong, Eleanor? You look like you've got something on your mind. I'm just trying to figure out what Rokuro was thinking. When I had Lord Shigure at the end of my spear, Rokuro threw his dagger right at my head. I thought I was dead for sure. I feel like I saw who he truly was, and it frightens me. But he and Lord Shigure are always trying to kill each other. I can't understand why he did what he did. It might have something to do with his Bushido code. What's Bushido? Is that like a sword fighter's code? It's a way of thinking. Be loyal to your lord. Respect your parents. Protect the weak and act with honor. You're saying that he was following this Bushido code. And he was protecting me because I was weak? He might have turned into a demon, but his memories and personality are still intact. I doubt his moral values have disappeared either. Do you really think he believes in that Bushido stuff? Carving through his enemies with a cruel and unsparing sword! Slash! Pow! Shazam! That's the true nature of a Rangetsu man! I heard that when Velvet first met him, he immediately attacked her without any provocation. I'm sure you haven't already forgotten how he turned his swords on the kid in that fight against Kurogane. I wouldn't read too much into what Magilu's saying. Rokuro lives for his sword, and that's just who he is. But I don't think he's all that bad. I thought you were the one who called him frightening. I know I said he can be a scary person, but... How do I put it? I do feel there's more to him than just wanting to cut people up. It's like... He's more sensitive to other people's emotions than he might seem to be at first glance. A sword fighter has to sense his opponents on some level, right? For a crazed demon, he's actually a nice guy. Is that it? Maybe. I don't know. It's not like I know him well enough to claim any deep personal insight or anything. You brought it up. Oh, this is bad. I think I've got it too. You know, Vlad, you can handle his sickness during a storm, but not this. Alright, ha, uh, alright, you're right. If I don't put myself in the the captain will never let me hear the end of it. He's completely and utterly out of it. We might bring some medicine? I'll give him some antiseptic in the meantime. We'll manage to keep ourselves alive, so get out there and find some Salatoma. Work forces east of Renid through the fence of Nog and Burnak plateaus to the north. There aren't many safe places in the west again, so if you're going to travel, be prepared. Ah, the merchant vessel Van Vavali. Donating a lo load of su relief supplies, we're always grateful. Donating supplies? It's only a ruse. We keep a bit of cargo stored away for when we need to make an anchor in a hurry. I see, even if of course they're scourged, you never slip, do you? These supplies came in at just the right time. Hi, with all the exorcists and soldiers about, it was starting to feel a bit tight. A bit ago, a manacled body got caught in my nets. Manacled? A prisoner? You too? Yesterday, my nets pulled up an arm. Manacles, even a brand on that one. I really can't take this anymore. I'm losing my appetite, and it's bad for my heart. You said it. Judging by the tides, they would have to have come from that prison island. Is it really just a prison? You think it's strange, too? I've suspected something about that place for a while now. They say the whole island is a prison, but if you ask me, I bet it's just an execution ground. Or it's for experimenting on demons. Experimenting? What do you mean? Testing the demons' capabilities. That's why they need prisoners. Food for the monsters. Not a bad theory. <laughs> just kidding! There's no way the Abbey would do something that horrible, right? <laughs> <laughs> you sure think of some crazy ideas. I bet all of this is the work of some vicious pirate gang. Yeah, something like that. That guy, he's pretty sharp. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen any patrol ships around there recently. Used to be they'd chase you off if you got too close. You know you're right. If there are pirates about, it'll mean trouble unless the Abbey tightens up their patrols. The best we can do is keep a wide berth of it for now. We wouldn't want pirates and demons sneaking up on us. 
I think we'd notice if pirates or demons were around. No way they'd catch us unawares. I can't tell if he's sharp or dull as a brick. I know it sounds like bragging, but I swear I've got a sixth sense. If the seas are about to get rough or there are demons nearby, I can feel it. Just, maybe, just maybe, I have what it takes to be an exorcist. If you're still saying the same thing in ten years, I, I say go for it. Excuse me, is there an apothecary around here? An apothecary? Sure, there's one in the village. Here in West Gen, plants and animals infected with demon blight have been attacking folks. So the apothecary barely has time to sleep. Whoop, they turned to a demon. I see, thank you. When I look at the equipment these days, all I want to do is dismantle it. Collecting materials has become a hobby of mine. I know the feeling, just keep it under control, right? Yeah, I need to stop dismantling equipment I was planning to enhance. Enough bottle. I'm happy to have more exorcists around, but what are they doing in Warg Forest? Shouldn't they be defending Renid? I haven't been told any reason, but I heard orders came from the Shepherd himself. There must be some deeper purpose. Are they on to me? There are demons that will attack you if they so m much as smell potentite on you. Really? Potentite would be mighty handy to have around, but I wouldn't want to die over it. Are they talking about the dire foes? Well, apparently there's only one in any particular region. So unless your luck is miserable, you're unlikely to bump into any. Demons drawn to potentite, eh? One per region is pretty rare, though, even for demons. So it's not a nice spot. A bit late to tell us about dire foes, don't you think? That's an interesting bridge. This bridge has a bit of history to it. Port Renid was originally built here on this inlet. The water's deep enough for ships, but as you can see, it's a bit too narrow for a port. Large ships couldn't come close without a top-rate crew, so Port Renid was used almost exclusively by smaller ships. What about the Von Eltia? We're the best of the best. We came and went as we pleased. So your point is you wanted to brag? Hey, let me finish. The people wanted their town to grow, so they built an outer harbor for large ships and this bridge to connect to it. Uh-huh. So that's why the port and the town are separate. But there's more. We secretly helped provide the funds and resources for them to build it. So you are bragging. And did this bridge bring prosperity to Port Renid? No. The Abbey began regulating shipping and travel, right about the time the town finished building the outer port. If only the seas had remained free, Port Renid would have developed into a center for commerce and trade. I suppose things don't always go as planned. Then again, even if Port Renid became a bustling port, we still would have no trouble slipping in or out. I'm not biting this time. This random looking guy's in charge of Code Reds around here? If only anger and grief could simply be washed away. Alas, that's not how people work, unfortunately. Speaking of which, I've got a new request for you. Oh no. There's... Yeah, they got the level boost from intense mode. Oh boy. Ugh, oh, fairies. Freaking hate them. When I was in Port Zexen, I heard that a swarm of demons attacked the palace and killed the high priest. No way! Isn't the palace the most heavily guarded place in the world? How did the exorcist let that happen? Hmm. Bad news really does travel fast. They say that the demons were disguised as humans, but were actually enormous monsters twice the size of any man. They had razor-sharp horns and three burning eyes. They could take over your mind just by glaring at you. If the demons were that terrible, no wonder the exorcist couldn't deal with them. Some rumors say they escaped. Some say a legate took them down in a climactic battle. But no one knows the truth. We should be ready to run in case they show up. Is the world falling apart? Will the bad times return again? A horned giant with three eyes, huh? Velvet, you're one scary lady. They said swarm, so they were talking about you too. There's nowhere we can run. Demon Blade is everywhere. 
Could there be some safe place across the sea on the far continent, do you think? I'm afraid I don't know. I haven't heard of anyone actually reaching that far continent. So the best we can do is pray we aren't attacked by demons, then. Oh. Panacea bottle. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's just not possible. But the High Priest hasn't been seen since then! How do you explain that? I heard some people from the capital say that he might have been attacked by demons! The Abbey's trying to cover it up, but the truth is getting out. The security at the palace is better than anywhere else! Demons breaking in? Inconceivable! But what if a whole horde assailed the castle? The exorcists guarding the palace are elite! The best of the best! Horde or not, they couldn't have gotten in! But what if they were some sort of giant demons? No matter how elite the guards may be, they'd have trouble against something like that. If giant demons appeared in the capital, there'd be an uproar. I understand your concerns, but please remain calm and trust us. Panic and confusion is just what the demons want. They'll use it to slip into this very town. Well, we know that, but still! It looks like rumors from the capital are spreading. The more chaos there is here, the easier it'll be for us to move around. I know the Abbey's story, but I'll need tangible proof before I'll swallow it. You're not the only ones risking your lives. That's right, making us feel safe is part of the Abbey's job. The Abbey fights with all its might to preserve the peace of the land and expunge demons. I do not ask you to believe in me, I ask you to believe in Lord Artorius and the Empyrean Anominat. I want to believe, but I just can't shake this feeling of unease. Oh, well, what's this? Sage obtained. It rains so much in West Gan. I suppose it makes everything lush and green, but they say Demon Blight affects plants too. It makes the rain feel like a curse. Life Bottle. Hmm. Horny Waistcoat. I am Hidemi, first son and rising star of the character card family. Allow me to test your talent for the game. What's the rule? Goal of the game is to collect matching pairs of cards to collect scoring sets. But you get any turn by choosing one card from your hand and playing it on the field. If the card with a matching title is currently on the field, you may take both cards into your scoring uh, pile. If there's no match, your card remains on the field. Next, draw a card from the deck and place it on the field and resolve it as above. This ends the turn. Each card belongs to a scoring set indicated by an icon on the lower right of the card. Scoring sets are formed when you want to collect a certain number of cards belonging to that set. Your number of currently claimed cards of each set is displayed on the screen's right. Once you complete the scoring set, you may end the round and collect points for your sets. You may opt to also opt to continue the round, but you won't be able to collect, uh, end the round and collect points until you complete another set. Continuing allows you to reach higher scores, but risk your opponents completing the set first and opting to end the round in their favor. Oh man, this is complicated. Select scoring sets to see the sets along with the scores and the record counts. Winner is the player with the most points at the end of the three rounds. The winner will be rewarded with Tails coins with higher scores for earning more coins. I think it slash beat is the easier. So, my turn. Show me what matches, I guess. I have to pick one of these. Wait, how does he play two cards at once? Hmm. Oh, I see. I have to now pick something in here that will match one of my other cards or something. Hmm. I I'm not sure what's going on.
Uh, I don't have anyone. This is bad. Continue rounds. Keep doing this. This person's just top decking. Holy shit. Finish round. Okay, I can actually earn points that way. Final round. Oh boy. Ninja. Okay, what if I finish round? Okay. Might be better to finish the round early to actually claim a reward. That is complicated for me. Okay, I beat the intermediate tier challenge and now they want to give me something else. Eisen's glasses. So there's nothing beyond intermediate for now, but maybe later on they'll give me something. Do you hear that, ma'am? Your boy something else. We've got a future scholar on our hands. Yes, but he's a bit frail, so that worries me. The Collapse of Harmony, Merlin's Rebellion, the Dark Period. There were so many great events in the past. All legends, of course. When I grow up, I hope to unravel the true meaning behind them. Open. Shiba Inu Tail. Let's head to the apothecary first. Hello there. We may be a simple country shop, but we've got a fine selection of goods. Hello there. How can I help you today? We're looking for Salatoma flowers. Well now, that's an order I don't get every day. It's not for the Corsair's Scourge, by any chance. The very same. Some of our crew developed fever three days ago. I want to take care of it as quickly as possible. Understandable, but unfortunately, I'm out of stock right now. How can you be out of stock? The flower's in season, isn't it? It is, but not too long ago, a demon appeared in Warg Forest, where we harvested. 
And now the Abbey won't let anyone inside. They what? Why haven't they exterminated the demon? From what little I've heard, they've had trouble tracking the thing. A hundred people go in, maybe only one will actually come across the beast. If it's so rare, then what's the danger? Because nobody who's encountered it has come back alive. First the Corsair Scourge, then no medicine, the Abbey, and a mysterious demon. Never a dull moment with the Reaper's curse, eh? Uh. Well, I could try to order some from other towns, but if you're already on day three, then might not make it in time. But if we go to the Warg Forest, the Solitoma will be in bloom, correct? Right, but the demon... We're going to the forest. Solitoma flowers that grow in the Warg Forest are a surefire cure for Corsair Scourge. But there are nasty demons roaming about, and you shouldn't tread where the Abbey doesn't want you to. Anyway, I'm going... I'm, I'm afraid going in there is a bad idea. Lavender obtained. Dad, I can't take it anymore. I can't deal with life in this village. There you go, with the whining again. Those two... they seem to be rather upset. Best stay out of it! They're going at it hammer and thongs! The phrase is hammer and tongs. I'm not whining. It's been ten years, and the village is no better off than when we started. Every year it gets colder, and every year our harvest gets worse. And the risk of demon blight hasn't gone away. Your point? Compared to other regions, Westgand has fewer cases of demon blight. Other areas are suffering worse from the cold and the demons. I'd say we're better off here than anywhere else. You're saying we're lucky that all we have to worry about is cultivating this inhospitable land? Don't be so impatient. We'll see results. Westgand has incredible potential. If we keep working this land, eventually it will become a prosperous place. Maybe not now, but in a hundred years or a thousand, our descendants will have joy and plenty. That's enough for me. There you go again. Who cares about ancestors? I'm talking about... Good man, your words have moved me. As an exorcist, I promise to work my hardest to end the demon blight and help people like you find security. Oh, thank you for your kind words, young exorcist. Then I have a request. How about you start helping by marrying this fool son of mine? What? Ever since his lover gave him the slip, he's been whining like this non-stop. I'm... Very sorry, but that wasn't exactly what I had in mind. We should ha have already cleared parts of the workforce for farmland by now. But it's cold all the time, and Demon Blade is rampant, and I can't find a wife. It's just dismal. That's just pathetic. What will your father say? Wait, I am your father. Anyway, this is no time to be giving up. No ladies out there like a quitter. The Demon of Warg Forest? Yeah, I heard about it. It's been the talk of the town around here lately. My guess? Is it some kind of invisible demon? Scary, right? An invisible demon? A bunch of exorcists got together to hunt the demon, but they couldn't find it. If it's not invisible, then maybe it's so fast they couldn't see it, or too small for them to notice. What kind of watch are they keeping on the forest now? Shouldn't you know? You're an exorcist too, right? Yes, but my duties take me from place to place, and I don't know the details of the demon hunts in this area. I see. I don't really know the details myself, either, but I hear the exorcists are patrolling in shifts. Interesting. It sounds like they still might not have a good lead on what this demon is. Please hurry. Find that demon and get rid of it. We won't feel safe until it's gone. You have my word. We'll do everything we can. We're here to find Solitoma. Sorry, but we don't have time to go demon hunting. I know. I won't go near work for us whether the Abbey allows it or not. But there are tons of different beetles out there, rhinoceroses and stags and whatnot. There are insect freaks who love to catch a sort of things, and they came here to go catch bugs in the wood. Well, they ended up playing over who caught when, there was even some bloodshed. But the place is creepy in a lot of different ways. Okay, there's a code red here. Ogres, slimes, those witches again. Oh no. What a disaster. Command your allies in battle and press RS again to cancel. Okay. Everyone attack! On to battle! Oh my goodness, that distracted me. Uh Oh, 
won't get any pity or compassion from me. Hey, Laffy said, what's the Reaper's curse Magilu was talking about? Supposedly, Aizen's presence has the power to bring misfortune to the people around him. Is that some sort of special Moloch power or something? It's worse than mere misfortune. At Vortigern, there was a sudden mass outbreak of demon blight, and many of his fellow crew died on his watch. I find that a little hard to believe, honestly. The Reaper's curse is all too real! It was the Reaper's curse that tore me from you and got me captured by Miss Mogilu! Oh, is... is that so? I missed you so much! The hazy halcyon days when I would blow on your cheeks to make your tears dry up! Hey, that's not... It must be destiny that we've been reunited! How I wish I could return to your side once more! Do what you want. I don't care. Really? I won't stop you. Maybe she wants a Moloch who freely divulges a young girl's secrets. I'm fine, thank you very much. I've already got Loppy set to look after as it is. Aw, no fair! Is he the one who blows on your tears now when you cry? He most certainly does not. And as of right now, you're a stranger to me. <sighs> what? Just so we're clear, Lafayette will do no blowing on any cheeks. Of course not. Uh, I mean, not that it ever happened in the first place anyway. Just forget it. <sighs> Yet another victim of the Reaper's curse! <sighs> Shock Ward. Rosemary obtained. Eleanor, are you feeling all right? Yes, for now at least. I'm glad for that. But please remember, the Reaper's curse is no joke. Is Aizen's curse even real? I'm having trouble believing in it. You never know. Talk like that might give you a stomach ache, or a blister, or a bug might fly into your mouth. A bug? Miss Mogilu, please stop making up things just to scare Madame Eleanor. Like when you said that four Navy warships tried to detain the Von Eltia and disappeared without a trace. Or that Aizen made a stopover on an island and the men there caught demon blight. Or that a man bumped into his shoulder and started laughing and died from suffocation. Please stop. That's even more frightening. That's a pack of lies. It was seven warships. Everyone on the island, not just men, caught demon blight. And the guy who bumped into me died from hiccups. <laughs> Hold me! But as far as the Corsair's Scourge goes, you don't need to worry. Just drink the Solitoma juice and you'll be fine. Assuming they're in bloom. Yeah, there is that. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, as soon as Aizen walks near those Solitomas, they're just gonna wilt. Verbena obtained. The exorcists are holding exercises around Lofringen. No one is allowed any further until they're finished. 1450 gold. Life bottle. Lorite fragment. There we go. Are we ready for this? Oh shit, they're all fucking linked together. Let's go! 
And crash! Did you think you could escape me? Not bad. Could've been a little better. I was cutting it close at the end. But I got a bunch of masteries, and that's what counts. Oh, that's a lot. Oppressor Ventite. Her increases damage inflicted during a weak point combo on moderate difficulty or higher. Fatigue. Warpike. Oh boy. Tremel Meal. Almost forgot about this one. Okay, that's all I can get for now. There's no chest here. Warg Forest. We need to be careful. There may well be exorcists around. This is a dual-layered barrier. It's the Abbey's new invention. So it's two barriers working in tandem, then. That sure sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble just to stop people from coming in. It really does. Dual barrier? They're not easily dispelled, but can be operated using switches which activates barriers of the same element. If a barrier is in the way, find a switch to the proper element and flip it in order to continue. Hmm. Okay, now it creates a barrier elsewhere. But why would they barrier this dead end? That's so weird. Tails again, huh? That Reaper's curse of yours is consistent, if nothing else. The curse even affects coin flips? Seems that way. A Moloch's powers affect physical objects and can, at times, even synchronize with their wavelengths. And in your case, it's that coin? Yeah. That's why it always comes up tails. You must forgive my skepticism. Whether you choose to believe it or not is really up to you. It might be worth noting that coin is also Aizen's vessel. So is that wavelength business the reason why Lafayette always has that compass around him? That's part of it. But in another sense, it's a kind of proof of his manhood. Proof of his... manhood? Must polish you, so you don't rust. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. For a Praetor, you really don't know that much about the world, do you? <sighs> the Reaper's Curse. The Abbey needs to know about this. I'll have to investigate further. A coin that always comes up tails. Can a Mog's influence extend so far? I see you're a woman of deep skepticism. I know it's hard to believe, but Aizen's coin really does only come up tails. Wait a minute. Are you using some sort of trick on it, Mogilu? Oh, your gaze falls on me then? Well, I am a woman of deep skepticism. And one who holds grudges too, apparently. But no, I don't have anything to do with it. In fact, I tried a little spell to make it come up heads, and it wouldn't take hold. The coin's not gimmicked. There's no trick. See for yourself, if you like. <gasps> this is... the Demon Lord Douse! Good eye. It's from Carl. It's from Carlin! I've never seen an authentic specimen! It's incredibly ancient, and yet it looks freshly minted. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Gold is normally soft, but they found a way to heart- I know! They cover the surface of a softer metal with a heat reactor-shaped memory alloy! That's what makes it hard to scratch. Uh, right. It's a technique no one alive can duplicate, and it makes any trickery impossible. I might just have to believe in this curse of yours after all. 
I thought you said they had made the surface itself harder, not covered it with something else. I think you're mistaken. No, I swear you said... Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Shape memory alloy. Hmm. That's how they did it. Oh, the very end. Sage obtains... So what does this Solitoma flower look like exactly? In a word, ugly. The flower itself is purple with leaves and stem of maroon. An ugly flower. All right, I'll keep an eye out. By the way, do you know what Solitoma means in the language of flowers? Was it deceitful coexistence? What's with that? Even its symbolism is awful. Deceitful coexistence. <laughs> the perfect flower for us. <sighs> What's wrong, Luffy said? Magi Lu is right, isn't she? Could be. Eleanor is from the Abbey. I'm not sure that someone like that would ever genuinely want to make friends with us. That's what I thought. But it's not all quarrels between us. There's commonalities, I guess you could call it. We share common ground. Deceitful coexistence doesn't trouble me at all. I'll always be here for you, Madam Eleanor. You and I shared an eternal vow that binds us together. All I did was make a pact to tether you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk about it in a way that could create the wrong impression. <laughs> Madam Eleanor, you're so cold. Try your eyes, Bianfu. You still have me, don't you? Oh, Miss Mogilu, you're the only one for me, honest! Good, good. Now think hard on my kindness and do as you're told. Yes, ma'am. I'll just have to hang in there until I find a new love. Luffy said, think about deceitful coexistence this way. Demon, exorcist, Moloch, pirate, witch. We're never going to be a single cohesive unit. But each of us understands where the others are coming from in a way that's very real. So it's not really a deception? Yeah, not really. I think selfish coexistence might make the better fit. <laughs> Maybe so. <sighs> Panacea Bottle. Okay, now it's back to water. I just noticed these have the Armatus weapon symbols on them, don't they? Flip back to fire. belong to a Salatoma. Be on the lookout for the ugly flowers. Ugly purple flowers. Got it. Got fluorite fragment. It's not see a bottle obtains. Fifteen twenty gold. Run. Okay, activate this and turn it back to water. A forward killer. Okay, it's only one, but it still looks pretty tough. Deception. Where is the whole stuff? Hurricane! 
Gotcha. It was a close call. Could escape me. Okay, got some masteries too. Good. At least I have reversal. Stuff that happens when the hit point drops below a certain percent. Okay, cool. Lavender. Life bottle. Open. You there! What do you think you're doing here? We could ask the same of you. These two are weak. Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were demon hunting. Ah. Are you making that move? No, it just did it by itself. He's in sync with his compass, just like Aizen and his coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. It stopped, but something still feels wrong. Like what? It kind of feels like when we got sealed inside that Earth Pulse. So a force similar to Inominat's power? I'm starting to think this may be no ordinary demon we're dealing with here. Ugh. Ugh. Do we're like, le how did they even get survive out here? One of them was level 11. Cassandra Sash. Okay, fire's on. Bummy fluid. It looks like a dead end up ahead. Luffy said. Do you feel anything here? No, not right now. Ah, uh, look! Purple flowers! Yep, Solitoma. Is the demon the real reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. What do you think, kiddo? I told you these things were hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, they're really nasty looking. But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. <gasps> Long Long set! This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. A barrier seems to only work on this thing. Another barrier! A barrier? Even my Praetor hearts can't break that. What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way. I don't think we're hauling how many flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. Right. Everyone, let's do this. Hey, this thing is 
sword now. Rise! Arise! Ascending! Angel! Hooker straight! Where does Soul go? Oh, shit, someone else picks it. No, it's right behind you. Give. Oh my goodness. Oh my good it's got soul burst. Oh, it just flies around everywhere. Okay, got it. I was I got a little low on souls back there, but I managed to pull it off. And it transformed back. Phew! Insect collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. Luffy well, said, are you sure you should get close to that thing? That's pretty quick and strong. Look! Can we keep him? No, hand it over. I'll dispose of it. The Abbey had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. <sighs> this one we can't even communicate with. You want it, you feed it. I will! I'll take care of him. Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey! Forgetting somebody? I thought you weren't human. It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. <sighs> I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. 50? That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need, we should get back to the ship. Sprinter vent tight. Okay, we can move a little faster now. Hmm. I wonder what they call this kind of bug. You're way into that thing, aren't you? Laffy said, can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh, well... Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of curiosity. It's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. I just don't know much about her myself. You fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch Demon Blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. 
Not that it matters if he turned back. Demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. Shock ward obtained. I already have a lot of those, actually. Denor bottle obtained. That bug! It looks pretty tough. Yeah! I've been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it! It must be a new species. Incredible! A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, now, that's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No, those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Hey, I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. The Lafayette stag beetle has a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? It's more like beetledum. Huh? That doesn't help your case at all. Rokuro. Aizen. I... I feel a dangerous storm brewing. The rhino is a one-trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Rhinoceros, stag, or butterfly? It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. They're totally different! So, what will you name it? Um, I think Rhino Stagros for now. <laughs> Salatoma flowers smell so sweet, like raspberries. Let me smell. <laughs> oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? They lure you in with their scent, but once that flower hits your tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful like, like how? how? The petals melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint, and the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors clash and fizz on your tongue, and your whole body is racked with choking pain. What? Seriously? That's what Ifrit told me anyway. It's actually true. That's exactly what it's like. You've tasted it before, haven't you? Is there any way around it? You can squeeze it, boil it, mix it with honey, but nothing gets rid of the taste. Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for some to swallow. Have you taken yours? No, I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. Wait, are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Not at all. I simply cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. You do know that you'll have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? Are you certain? Quit being so stubborn. It'd be better if you just got it over with. And you've taken your dose? No, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is enough to absorb its effects. But to a Moloch, it tastes... Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. <laughs> it's good to be an exorcist, eh, Eleanor? Do I have to drink it? Of, of course not. I'll suffer through my own dose of solitoma. Well, poo. How dull. Whew. My nose, there's no more barriers. Is it possible that by getting rid of that beetle, by taking the beetle with us, they somehow disable all the barriers? Or is it because we beat up those two exorcists? Not sure what's the cause here. What? Oh no. Guess we gotta beat these two up. Yeah. 
you think there's any chance that wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp just in case. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. First that demon wrecks Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never gonna catch a break. Quit whining. Cleaning up messes is our job. <sighs> Looks like our Abbey buddies are up to something. And the bug cage. That barrier, I assume? If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. Hey, how goes it? Zavid! Easy there, bro. I don't got time to spar today. Got a date lined up. That artifact you've got belongs to Ifried. Why do you have it? Just picked it up off the ground somewhere. Don't screw with me, tough guy. I have ways of making you talk. Ha! <laughs> I wonder how much pain gets you to open up. You're the one about to be tested. It's not up to you how this goes. If I want to talk, we'll talk. And if I want to fight, we'll fight. What are you? We're playing him now? I'd play more, but I don't want to keep old pointy beard waiting. We'll chat some more later with our fists. He, he shot himself just to enhance his teleportation? Get the flowers to everyone on the ship! You can handle it! But you're... Moron. Let's Leaving my party like that. Alright. That thing Zavid was holding? What do you think that was? From the sound of it, it seemed to belong to Ifrit. I've never seen any object or art quite like it. Maybe it's that relic Ifrid brought back from a continent across the sea. An art from another continent. Do you think Aizen will be alright? That Moloch seemed to know what he was doing. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but... First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? He was probably just making up that date business. But still, old pointy beard? Just like Ifrid. When I was talking with Benwick, he said Ifrid had a pointy beard. You don't say. Then I bet Zavid is that wanted Moloch the Abbey's looking for. Yeah, he must be aware they're after him. And then he baited Aizen into following him using something that belonged to Ifrid. And I'm pretty sure Aizen knew that, but he went after him all the same. Ugh, this can only go well, I'm sure. Is Aizen in trouble? It doesn't matter either way, if his Corsair Scourge goes untreated. For now, let's get back to the ship. That is very annoying, taking away a party member like that. Ugh. Hopefully we'll get him back soon. Do you really collect Salatoma from Warwick Forest? Let's get one thing clear, I try to stop you, you broke the rules all on your own. I don't want any trouble out of this. We're not even sure what era Lohengrin was built in, are we? As far as I know, the tower was buried until Lord Melchior dug it up with some Malachim. I heard there was a whole mass of Malachim hibernating underground, is that true? Don't know, but if you told me those solemn creatures came from under the Europe, I'd believe you. Today I'm going to catch the king of the pond, a Renied Resusi toad. I'll be back. I'll let you know if I find any new medicine. Thank you, and good luck. I just don't understand those exorcists. They sent all our men to work for us or Lohengrin or any other place nobody lives. Are they supposed to be here to protect us? It doesn't make any sense.
I just hope you're doing uh, what you're doing helps everyone out. Anyway, here's a reward. Okay. Frenzied wolf. Hmm. Breed wolf level 37. Luminary ventite. That one seems to work best with multi-hit mystic arts. Look! A frog! It's unusual to see one this close to the sea. Hey, I thought of a poem! Day at Port Renied. A frog jumps into the void. The sound of the sea. Mogilu? What was that? Just a little poem that popped into my head. My inspiration came from pondering the terror a frog would feel if it unwittingly leapt into the salty ocean. That... that's... I don't get it at all. I got another one! Skinny little frog, Mogilu is on your side. Do not give up hope. Um... I guess that one is about... rooting for a frog? That's right. I once bet a fortune on a game of chance involving frogs. That was my inspiration for this one. What do you think? Poetic, isn't it? I think you have a gambling problem. So... did this skinny frog win? Nope. I lost my entire bet. I think we can call that poetic justice. <laughs> Burnak Plateau is north through the Fens of Nog. Lavon Tunnel runs underneath the plateau and stretches all the way to Vortigern. Right you are, and Vortigern straddles the strait between North Gen and West Gen. Yeah, but according to one scholar, West Gen is slowly drifting northward. That means when they'll run to North Gen, they'll become one joined land. Well, that means well, there'll be no reason to have built Vortigern. Shouldn't you tell Yabby about this? The sea is a storehouse with an endless stock. If you're hungry, look for a ship. I don't care for all those little bones you find fish, though. The demons have been committing terrible atrocities. I know there's little I can do on my own, but I want to do something to stop them. I've got you covered. I'll enhance your weapons until you can hardly recognize them. We've brought back your Salatomas. Drink up. You've saved us! But... Where's the first mate? We bumped into some wannabe tough guy Moloch and he just took off after him. What? That must have been Zavid! Why didn't you guys follow him? And leave you all with the Corsair Scourge? Yes! Aizen's the one in danger here. Is it because the Abbey is after Zavid? So you even knew about it? I heard the details from a merchant who deals with the Abbey. Some big shot exorcist named Melchior has set up a trap for Zavid and Loringen. If Aizen gets caught up in that, he might not make it out alive. So now there's Melchior to worry about. Why is Lord Melchior assuming direct command to capture Zavid? Wait, that's not important. What matters is I can turn Lafayette's head over to him and finally return to the Abbey. Melchior is a legate. A powerful enemy, trap or no. Ugh, you guys are useless! Well, fine. If you're not going to go help him, we will. What makes you think you're capable of being any help? Would you let an ally get slaughtered just because you were scared? What? We want to save him. Maybe we'll lose. It still won't stop us. We are the ones who decide our fates. Only us. That's just the creed of Eifried's pirates. Uh, uh, you're a real hothead, you know that? Nobody said anything about not helping Aizen. Huh? You all stay here, take your medicine like good little boys, and be ready to welcome back your first mate and captain. The captain? Why else would Eyes annoyingly barge into a trap, if not to save Eifried? Oh, of course! Leave the ship and crew to me! Here, this one's for you. Those pirates haven't a lick of sense in them. They don't let reason dictate who they protect. <sighs> if you say so, demon. <coughs> now, about where Aizen's headed. Those exorcists were talking about some place called Loringen. Yes. It's a tower in the northern part of Westgand where the exorcists train. 
Lines up with what Benwick told us. That must be the place. There must be a lot of exorcists. Hang in there, Aizen. That'll take more than basic exorcists to do him in. We ought to pity any poor exorcists who meet the Reaper. Right! Let's work together and find him! Track Aizen in the north of Fence of Nog. The captain and skipper are all yours. We'll be on our feet by the time you get back. Uh, uh, Solitoma is as awful as I remember. I'd hoped I'd never have to drink it again. Are you alright, Eleanor? Is this your second experience with the Corsair Scourge? No, I had it for a different reason. In the Abbey, it's tradition for initiates to drink Solitoma as part of their welcoming festivities. Sounds like hazing to me. When everyone shares the same experience, drinking something so shockingly revolting, our bonds are strengthened. It's a good thing. If you say so. I really did believe I'd never have to taste it again. To be blunt, I hate it. You're lucky you think it tastes so terrible. That means you also know what tastes good. Right, Velvet? <sighs> what does that mean? Velvet can't taste anything aside from blood. What? Is that because she's a demon? I'm aware of one other flavor. Mogulu, here's your dose of Solitoma. No! Get back here! N don't! Keep that salad thing away from me! I see. The sweet taste of another suffering. Why does it seem like everyone around me is completely mad? Yeah! Continuing to fight when you know you'll lose just is insane! Would you stand around and watch your comrade die just because you're scared? I wouldn't want to, but getting myself killed wouldn't save anyone either. Yes, it would be illogical to fight. Is being illogical really that bad? Well... At the Empyrean's throne, I remember Velvet standing, despite the horrible pain she felt. Rokuro is training with all his heart in order to defeat his brother Shigure. And Kurogane used up his own head to forge a powerful blade. None of that is very logical. Yeah, I don't know quite how to put it, but I think it's all amazing. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting someone, hmm? Uh, Magi Lu is traveling with us, even though she doesn't care. And that... Yes, go on. I don't really understand what that's about. Ah! Uh. Oh, Miss Magi Lu, hang in there! <laughs> <laughs> well, it is amazing in some sense, I suppose. Hello there. You're headed to Loringen Tower too? Just a bit ago, a brawny, silver-haired man asked me how to get there. Did he say why he was going there? Something about meeting some friends of his. Exorcists use that tower to train, right? If he has exorcist friends, then maybe he's one too. But he seemed a bit rough and tumble to be an exorcist. I can't imagine a man like him. Did he say anything else? He said someone else might stop by and ask about the tower, and told me to tell him if they do. Did he mean you? <sighs> no clue. So he was planning on us following him. What's he scheming? You mean Zavid? Or the Abbey? Both. Loingrin Tower is an old ruin north of the fence of Nog on the west side of Burnak Plateau. Now the Abbey controls the place and won't let anyone near it. Trespassers are dealt with partially. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Tales of Asperia. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.